Hello there, Year 3. Welcome to Thursday's reading lesson. We're going to begin with some quick-fire reading for you at home. So I'm going to hold up some post-it notes to the screen now. And verbally, I want you to look at it, decode the word if you need to, blend it together and say it aloud. So to begin with, we'll start off with... Last one from this word list. Moving on. Common exception words. And the last four now are from our year three, four word list. So beginning with quite a toughie. See if you can sound it out. And last one. So you do have the opportunity to rewind the video and have another go at those words if necessary. Do it two, three or four times if you need to, to practice saying those words, practice the speed and the blending. Whichever time you're watching this, whether it's the first time or the fifth time, we're going to go through them now. And I want you to say the words again with me as I do. Then then have saw very then busy again after every Climb, experience, mention, group, complete. So our learning objective for today is to read and perform with emphasis on specific words. So Authors do this where they pick out particular words where they want the character to say it with particular emphasis on that one word to really add effect. Let's have a look at the last page that we were reading yesterday where the old lady was trying to persuade Fizz to walk her home. What do you mean? Goodbye. Now, because I've built up a picture of this character in my head because the author has done a brilliant job so far. I naturally have put emphasis on a particular word and I did it with goodbye because I'm really imagining that old lady being a little bit shocked, a bit taken aback and trying to make her point. What do you mean? Goodbye. So really emphasising that last word. But what if we change the word that we emphasise? How would that change the way we, that we read it? Now it's your turn to put on your best old lady voice and emphasise each word that is underlined in red. So take a sentence at a time, beginning with What do you mean goodbye? Putting emphasis on the word that is underlined. Be as loud and as expressive as you can. Well done, Year 3. I hope you enjoyed that. 
Now, the way that authors indicate that particular emphasis should be placed on a word within their books is the use of italics. Now, italics is like normal writing. However, it's pushed on the side. And this will only be applied to maybe one or two words which they want a character or the reader to pronounce in a particular way. Let's have a look at some examples now from some books which I think you'll probably be familiar with. Fantastic Mr Fox by Roald Dahl. This is it, cried Mr Fox. This is what, said Badger. Highlighted there, what is in italics, and that's how why it should be pronounced in a different way. How many other examples can you see on this page? Pause the video now. Did you read it like this? And I can tell you this, there are lots more trouble in cucumbers. Emphasis on the a lot, a lot was in italics. So now it's our turn to practice together. We're going to continue reading Fizzlebert from where we left off yesterday. And I want you to read along with me, following it on the screen. Remember to pay particular attention for those italics and think about how you are pronunciating that particular word or phrase. Walk you home. Make sure you're reading along at home, saying it out loud. We'll start again. Walk you home. Yes, that's right. That's what grandsons do for their grannies, isn't it? But I'm not your... Oh, yes, you are. She said sharply before he could finish his sentence. You are my grandson now. That's Alex. Darling little Johnny, and you better start behaving properly. I don't believe we brought you up to have manners like this. Fizz was confused. Was she playing a game? Was she being silly? Was she perhaps mad? He hadn't been worried before, but now he began to find doubts crawling around his head their little spidery legs tickling his brain. I'm sorry, he said, sounding braver and more confident than he felt. I've really got to go now. You've been really kind and I don't mean to be rude, but... Little boy, she hissed, leaning in so close that he could smell her pepperminty breath. You are coming home with us and you are coming now. There are only two reasons people eat mints. Either they have something to hide, or they like mints. Oh yes, shouted the old man, punching the air. He had his eyes shut and looked as if he was listening to something no one else could hear. You don't know much about libraries, do you? She asked. Do you know what happens if you don't take a library book back on time, do you? No, Fizz said quietly. It's the cane, my boy, she said. It's one smack on the palm of your hand for every hour the book is late and you've taken four books out. But, but, he stuttered, they're not late back. Ah, but the library is ever such a strict place. They punish you for all sorts of things. You were lucky you didn't run, weren't you? You could have been kept behind, could have been in big trouble. You didn't know it's against the rule to chew gum or to whistle or to dance, did you? You didn't break any of those rules, but you were lucky. But if you had, oh, then you would have been in big trouble. But I didn't. No, you didn't, I know. But now you know what the library is really like, the sort of strictness they impose. So... What sort of punishment do you think they'd have if they found someone stealing their books? What sort, eh? 
She prodded him with a bony finger. Um, he gabbled. A bad one? Well done for reading along there, Year 3. Did you notice the italics as we were reading? And did you see how we changed our voice as we were reading to really emphasise that particular word? Now, most of those came from the old lady really trying to make her point and scare Fizzlebird. And that's what authors do. You're going to continue reading now onto the next page because the next page has lots and lots of italics on it. I would love you to record yourself performing page 109 and send it over to me on the year three email address. I'm going to put it up onto the screen now. I want you to take your time, read it as best that you can, paying particular attention to those italics. Off you go, year three. Wow, what a nasty piece of work that old lady is. And what a dilemma Fizz is in now. But we're going to use that dilemma in order to inform our independent work today because your task is to produce or annotate a response from Fizzlebert to the old couple all about that dilemma that they have put him in. So he's got a decision to make, hasn't he? Whether to go with them, go along with what they say or stand up for himself a little bit more, but then run the risk of getting into trouble at the library as they're lying to him and saying could happen. So, Chili One, your task is to use the paragraph that I'm going to provide and underline the words that should be emphasised before performing the extract, because within the paragraph that I'll provide for you, there will be some spoken words from Fizzlebert towards the old couple where you have to go through and think right which word would he really emphasize as he's saying it to the old couple maybe he's getting a little bit angry at certain points or maybe he's really pleading a certain word it's like please and you think that should be emphasized you'll go through and underline that particular word okay if you are opting for chili two today you are going to write your own response to the old old couple and un underline the words that you think should be emphasized too it might be worth having a look at, at the one that i put up first for a few ideas before then having a go yourself but it's up to you and chili three you're going to do the same you're going to write a paragraph as well but i want you to use actual italics within your response from fizz so anything that you think should be emphasized i want you to have a go at putting your writing on the right hand side of the uh, leaned over to the right a little bit and I also want you to use the new and exciting word of pleaded within that response too. Here's the paragraph if you want to check it out first of all before setting off on your task. Good luck year three.